15 things you didn't know about Moet and Shandon Champagne. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers, and welcome back to another amazing video. We love iconic luxury brands, and you don't get much more luxurious than Moet and Shandon Champagne. Founded in 1743, the Champagne House was established by wine trader Claude Moet during the reign of King Louis XV when demand for sparkling wine was at an all-time high. The winery progressed and they marketed their first vintage in 1842. They also established the Dom Perignon label in 1842 and created Hennessy Cognac in the 1970s. Because Alux.com is dedicated to being the world's best resource on the most incredible luxury goods, we just had to bring you a video about one of the most famous champagne brands in the world. Without further ado, here are 15 things you didn't know about Moet and Shandon. Number 1. Moet and Shandon produce 26 million bottles of champagne a year. They're the world's largest champagne producer, with four different varieties in their range. Imperial, Rosé Imperial, Grand Vintage 2004, and Grand Vintage 2008. Number 2. Dom Perignon is the brand's vintage champagne, so it's only produced in certain years. Only the best will do for Dom Perignon, so it's only harvested in the best possible years. Five million bottles are produced in each vintage, with each needing 12 years to age correctly to the signature Dom Perignon taste. The current vintage is from 2006. Number 3. Moet and Shandon Champagne has a royal warrant as Queen Elizabeth II's official champagne supplier. As the royal family's favorite champagne, Moet was selected as the champagne of choice for Charles and Diana's wedding. The 1961 Moet and Shandon Charles and Diana Dom Perignon sells for around $3,300 on average and is greatly sought after by collectors. Number 4. Napoleon was rumored to celebrate his victories in battle with bottles of Moet. Napoleon would savor bottles of champagne with his sword to celebrate his various successes. He loved champagne so much that he received 50 bottles of red wine and champagne every day while imprisoned on St. Helena. He definitely wasn't on a conventional prison diet. Number 5. Their Dom Perignon label was named after a Benedictine monk. Dom Pierre Perignon was known as the Champagne Monk because he made contributions to France's burgeoning champagne industry in the 1600s. He's said to have established some rules of winemaking in the Champagne region, one being that only Pinot Noir grapes should ever be used. Number 6. The Champagne House has a bigger collection of vintages than any other in the world. According to Moet's Chef de Cave, Cellar Master, Benoit Gauez, the Champagne House's collection of vintages is the biggest and best in the world. Their collection dates back to the 1830s and covers 30 miles of caves in their Epernay winery. It's so big, even Benoit gets lost in there. If you're more of a tea drinker than champagne swigger, we've got just the video for you. Watch our list of the best places to drink tea in the world. Number 7. To create their unique flavor and color of champagne, Moet use a blend of Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier, and Chardonnay. Each grape plays an individual role in the taste of a bottle of Moet, and they all come from the five main regions of Champagne wine country. The blend is made up of 60% Chardonnay and 40% Pinot Noir. Number 8. You can try a 450 euro tasting menu at Moet's 2500 acre Epernay estate. The pop-up restaurant is headed up by three Michelin starred chef Yannick Aleno, and it's extremely hard to get a reservation. When you do book, you have to book a table of four or more to encourage a collective celebratory experience, according to Moet's CEO. Chef Aleno calls the menu a culinary journey, and it's paired with Moet's 2006 vintage. Number 9. You can visit the Moet wine cellars stored in caves underneath the Epernay soil. 10 to 30 meters underground are the Moet Champagne Cellars. It's such a labyrinth that it spans 17.4 miles and is the largest in the whole Champagne region. Bespoke tasting sessions are available throughout the year. After all, 
It would be a shame to go down there without trying a glass or two. Number 10. Moet is a part of the largest luxury group of businesses in the world. Hennessy Cognac and the famous French fashion house Louis Vuitton merged together in 1987. They became Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy and collectively brought in 16 billion euros in 2004. Over 10 years later, this is bound to be much more and they're still considered the largest luxury group in the world. Number 11. Moet's Domaine Chandon outpost in the Napa Valley was the first French-owned sparkling wine venture in the U.S. In 1973, Moet Hennessy made their first foray into California's Napa Valley wine country, establishing the Domaine Chandon. Visitors can also join Club Chandon, with benefits including a members-only area in the winery, invitations to club-exclusive parties, and savings on shipments of Chandon wine. Number 12. Roger Federer earns around $6 million a year for his role as Moet's brand ambassador. This luxury champagne brand is one of the brands helping Federer net $71 million a year in endorsement deals. Scarlett Johansson used to be the face of the brand, but Moet went with the famous tennis player in 2012. Number 13. Moet sponsors Formula One but isn't what the winners spray at the podium. Moet replaced Mum Champagne in 2016 as the official sponsor of Formula One. They have a strong connection to the sport. A Magnum was presented to the first winner in 1950, but their champagne isn't what's sprayed in celebration at the end. In 2016, it was announced that the drivers were spraying slightly cheaper sparkling Chardonnay from the Chandon Brut bottles. Not the real deal. Number 14. Chef de Cave Benoit Guerrez has said himself that some vintages are outstanding, but another year can be awful. The nature of a particular vintage is reflected in the taste and particular year it was grown. The weather and the growing conditions will affect the taste of it, so if one year is too dry or too wet, it can dramatically affect the taste. Number 15. The correct pronunciation of Moet is Moet. The French name might make people assume that the T is silent, but it isn't. The family name apparently originates from the Netherlands in the 1400s. After a relative shouted, it must be so. Het Moet zu Zijn in Dutch while fighting the English. Moet stuck after the incident and became the family name. After all that, you're probably craving a chilled glass of bubbly Moet and Shandon. This iconic brand is one of the most well-known and influential in the Champagne region of France, and for good reason. Their cellar is legendary, their name is synonymous with luxury and fine French tastes, and they continue to be a major international brand. If you had a Champagne lifestyle, would you be a Moet fan, or would you stock up on the slightly sweeter brands like Cristal or Veuve Clicquot? Oh, you're still here? Well, here's another amazing fact about Moet and Shandon for you. The Champagne brand has been dropped in 13 different songs, with Notorious B.I.G. and Nas referencing it more than any other artists. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer.